हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फीडबैक इन एन एम्पलीफायर इफ यू कंसीडर एन एम्पलीफायर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू स्टेजेस एम्पलीफायर स्टेज एज वेल एज फीडबैक सर्किट when some portion of output is fed back to the input the process is known as feedback when some portion of output is fed back to input the process is known as feedback and the amplifier is known as feedback amplifier so when some portion of output is fed back to input the process is known as feedback and the amplifier which is used for this process is known as feedback amplifier due to feedback the input will be depending upon output so due to feedback input will be depending upon the output there are two types of feedback circuits first one is positive feedback and second one is negative feedback positive feedback means when the feedback signal is in phase with the input and negative feedback means when the feedback signal is out of phase with the input in positive feedback feedback signal is in phase with the input signal and negative feedback means the feedback signal is out of phase with input signal in feedback circuit vf represents feedback voltage at the feedback if we get the signal where it is in phase with the input then the feedback is known as positive feedback if the feedback signal is out of phase if we compare that with the input signal then the feedback is known as negative feedback so if we compare this signal with the input signal or source signal it is having 180 degree phase shift that's why we call that as negative feedback so if you compare this signal with the source signal at that case both the signal are in same phase that's why it is known as positive feedback signal in the circuit a represents amplifier gain and beta represents feedback gain or it is feedback ratio now let us derive the expression for voltage gain for both positive and negative feedback signal if we consider the output voltage we can write output voltage is equal to a into vi so we can write output voltage v not is equal to a into vi so let us call this as equation number 1 now in the circuit input voltage will be equal to vs plus vf so input voltage vi will be equal to vs plus vf here feedback voltage will be equal to v not into beta so we can say vf is equal to beta times v not therefore we can say input voltage will be equal to vs plus beta v not let us call this as equation number 2 let us substitute equation number 2 in equation number 1 so if you substitute the value at that case we will get 1 is equal to v not is equal to a into vs plus beta v not so we can write the above expression as a vs plus a beta v not so let us take this v not term towards left hand side so we can write v not minus a beta v not will be equal to a vs so if we take v not as common we'll get 1 minus a beta will be equal to a vs therefore from this we can say v not divided by vs is equal to a divided by 1 minus a beta so we know v not divided by vs we can write it as voltage gain so av will be equal to a divided by 1 minus a beta so this is the expression for voltage gain for positive feedback amplifier so this is for 
positive feedback. For negative feedback, we can write voltage gain as A divided by 1 plus A beta. So, this is the expression for voltage gain for negative feedback. In a negative feedback expression, if you observe, we are having the ratio as A divided by 1 plus A beta. Due to this expression, the voltage gain will reduce in negative feedback. So, in negative feedback, the voltage gain reduces. Now, let us see the advantages of negative feedback. The first advantage is that it improves the output stability. So, it improves the output stability. Second advantage is that it reduces noise. Third advantage is bandwidth will increase. Fourth advantage it improves the frequency response. Next advantage is it has highly stabilized gain which means gain is very much stable. Next it has less phase distortion, it has less harmonic distortion. Now, let us see the disadvantage of negative feedback circuit. One of the major disadvantage of negative feedback circuit is that it reduces the gain of an amplifier, it reduces the gain of an amplifier. This is about feedback in an amplifier, I hope you have understood the topic, thank you. <laughs>